I am the only one who survived. She still walks with crutches 37 years after Long Island's worst grade crossing crash. Kathy Kammerer for privacy doesn't want to show her face, but she showed us some of the scars she still bears because a driver tried to beat a train. She was the lone survivor of that 1982 crash. Nine of her high school aged friends perished. It was horrific. Nine kids died. Maybe people are forgetting. It's a new generation. People are forgetting what happened to me. Breaking a four decade silence in the wake of more tragedy. Last week in Westbury, three fathers killed, three funerals beginning yesterday. I heard it on the news as I was waking up, and I literally said, Not again. Stop going around train tracks. Please, the lower gates stop. The Herricks Road grade crossing where she was hit was long ago replaced with an overpass. But many that Main are listed among the riskiest in the nation due to traffic. You say, well, it'll be so expensive to do uh, underpasses or overpasses. That's what 95%, 98% of these crossings don't need that. They need better lighting. They may need widening of the road. Senator Chuck Schumer proposes federal dollars for better engineering, education, and enforcement, like cameras that would ticket people who deliberately go around closed gates. It's not going to stop them from doing what they did. It'll just give them a penalty and remind them the second time. Let's just hope they get to live for a second time. Camera agrees elevating tracks isn't the answer. You remove the grade crossings and, and you can destroy neighborhoods. But a new generation needs to learn. Boggles my mind that any Anybody does it. One of these times you're going to get hit. The school street grade crossing where the men drove around the gates last week is scheduled to be eliminated. 290 other grade crossings across Long Island remain in place indefinitely. In Westbury, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News.